Welcome to St. Cross Live. We are so glad to have you here for services today. Most of all, a very happy new year to all of you. I can say many, if not most, if not all of us gave a big sigh of relief as we moved into 2021. Thank you for coming to join us this morning. You can find the bulletin on our website at stcross.org slash live. If you're a newcomer, it's also where you can click in to tell us about yourself and we'll contact you so we can set up a chance to get to know you better. If you would like to give for the mission and ministry of St. Cross, you may do so at stcross.org slash give. And if there are prayers you would like added to our prayer list, please do so at stcross.org slash pray. Welcome to worship. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of Him who humbled Himself to share our humanity, your Son, Jesus Christ. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first lesson is from the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, sing, a glad, sing aloud with gladness for Jacob and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise and say, save, O God, your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth, among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor together, a great company, they shall return here. With weeping they shall come, and with consolations I will lead them back. I will let them walk by breaks of water in a straight path which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away, and say, He who scattered Israel will gather him, and will keep him as a shepherd, a flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, and has redeemed him from the hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the heights of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke. The parents of Jesus went to Jerusalem every year for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Assuming that he was in the group of travelers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Throughout the season of Advent and just before Christmas Eve, the women's Bible study group spent time reading scripture alongside poetry from the poet Maya Angelou. And so I would like to share with you this morning one that spoke to us all deeply at this time. Amazing Peace, a Christmas poem by Maya Angelou. Thunder rumbles in the mountain passes, and lightning rattles the eaves of our houses. Flood waters await us in our avenue. Snow falls upon snow, falls upon snow to avalanche over unprotected villages. The sky slips low and gray and threatening. We question ourselves. What have we done to so affront nature? We worry, God. Are you there? Are you there, really? Does the covenant you made with us still hold? In this climate of fear and apprehension, Christmas enters. Streaming lights of joy, ringing bells of hope, and singing carols of forgiveness high up in the bright air. The world is encouraged to come away from rancor, to come the way of friendship. It is the glad season. Thunder ebbs to silence, and lightning sleeps quietly in the corner. Floodwaters recede into memory. Snow becomes a yielding cushion to aid us as we make our way to higher ground. Hope is born again in the faces of children. It rides on the shoulders of our aged as they walk into their sunsets. Hope spreads around the earth brightening all things, even hate which crouches breeding in dark corridors. In our joy, we think we hear a whisper. At first, it is too soft. Then only half heard, we listen carefully as it gathers strength. We hear a sweetness. The word is peace. It is loud now, it is louder, louder than the explosion of bombs. 
We tremble at the sound. We are thrilled by its presence. It is what we have hungered for. Not just the absence of war, but true peace. A harmony of spirit, a comfort of courtesies, security for our beloveds and their beloveds. We clap hands and welcome the peace of Christmas. We beckon this good season to wait a while with us. We, Baptist and Buddhist, Methodist and Muslim, say, come, peace. Come and fill us and our world with your majesty. We, the Jew and the Jainist, the Catholic and the Confucian, implore you to stay a while with us so we may learn by your shimmering light how to look beyond complexion and see community. It is Christmas time, a halting of hate time. On this platform of peace, we can create a language to translate ourselves to ourselves and to each other. At this holy instant, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ into the great religions of the world. We jubilate the precious advent of trust. We shout with glorious tongues at the coming of hope. All the earth's tribes loosen their voices to celebrate the promise of peace. We, angels and mortals, believers and non-believers, look heavenward and speak the word aloud, peace. We look at our world and speak the word aloud, peace. We look at each other and then into ourselves as we say without shyness or apology or hesitation, peace, my brother, peace, my sister, peace, my soul. Amen. Please join me in reaffirming our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Let us bring before God the needs of the world. Wonderful Counselor, give your wisdom to the rulers of the nations. Lord, in your joy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Mighty God, make the whole world know that the government is on your shoulders. Lord, in your wisdom, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Everlasting Father, establish your reign of justice and righteousness forever. Lord, in your purpose, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Prince of Peace, bring in the endless kingdom of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Emmanuel, comfort, heal, and restore all those who suffer, and welcome to your kingdom all who have died. Lord, in your hope, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Lord, hear our prayer and fulfill your purposes in us as you accomplished your will in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with his joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you again for joining us for worship. As we begin into this new year, I would ask that you please look at our weekly newsletter, our website, and our calendar for upcoming events that are happening in our community. I know that there are several things scheduled that we don't have details for yet, quite yet at the time of this filming, but I do believe that we will be doing a either food or clothing drive for the homeless shortly. We will also be continuing our discussions on race and our faith. So please do look for upcoming notices on that. But most of all, from all of the clergy and staff at St. Cross, we really wish you a wonderful and blessed new year. Mm -hmm. 